And the police commissioner says a couple made more than four and a half million dollars from a website which sold completed assignments to students. The commissioner, commissioner has taken Stephen Kwan Lee and his wife Fan Young to the High Court in Auckland, asking the court to order the money be forfeited under the Criminal Proceeds Recovery Act. Our reporter Edward Gay has been in court and he joins me now. Hi Edward, can you tell us how did this website operate? Yes, Rowan. Well, according to documents and computer hard drives seized by the police on a raid on the officers, um, students would either get in touch by email or they'd actually go physically to the office of assignments for you. That was actually situated just around the corner um, from the studios here down on Cook Street. They'd supply the essay or assignment question and also sometimes supply even their university computer logon details. And that allowed assignments for you to then pass that information on to uh, its network of ghost writers who would research and write assignments. Uh, and uh, they'd sometimes use the students' login details uh, to contact the tutor directly, uh, presumably posing as the student. Uh, the assignment would then be completed by the ghost writer using textbooks. Sometimes the student's own notes would be used. Uh, and then that assignment would then be passed back to assignments for you. Assignments for you would then uh, give it to the student, and the student would, um, according to the commissioner, pass that work off as their own. And we got an insight in court into how the company was charging for these. That's right. In some cases, there could be refunds um, that depended on the result, depended on the mark that they got back. Um, the the assignments for you aimed to get an A or a B for the students. Um, sometimes they would also guarantee a mark um, and there was a sliding scale of refunds if that mark wasn't achieved but even in the case of a fail, a fail mark, um, the full price of that assignment was not refunded. Instead they'd get a sort of in-store credit. Um, also the pricing was revealed for bachelor degrees up to $185 per 1,000 words would be charged, um, and the prices were fi uh, weren't fixed. Sorry, and uh, frequent users were also given discounts. You keep coming back, you, um, you, you got you got a better price. Uh, that normally the assignments for you, the company would normally um, pass on 70% of um, the money they they earned off a job to the ghostwriter. They'd keep 30% for the profit of the company. And assignments for you drew the line at exams, though. They 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 basically had a um, a phone um, model phone question and answer thing for their staff, and they told their staff that if they were asked by students if they could sit in on an exam for the student, um, assignments for you said no, they would not do that. Um, the commissioner says there were 492 jobs. They estimated um, that assignments for you charged out about $406 per job on average. And that calculation, uh, the lawyer for the commissioner, Mark Harborer, said is likely to be challenged by uh, Lee and Fanyan's lawyers. Uh, the allegation is that assignments for you was involved in fraud by enabling students to pass off this work as their own when it, it clearly wasn't their work. And they offered other services as well. That's right. David Jones QC, the lawyer for Stephen Kwan Lee and Fan Yang, pointed out that the company also provided proofreading, face-to-face uh, -face help with assignments. It also um, it also provided an online platform for secondhand um, 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 course books, uh, so people could buy and sell through um, through the company's website. Mr Jones actually questioned the officer in charge. He was up um, giving evidence today, uh, Detective Craig Smith, and uh, he was cross-examined by Mr Jones. Um, he, uh, Mr Jones took the detective to an early complainant in the case who claimed to have acted as a ghostwriter. Uh, he approached authorities, um, and Mr Jones pointed out that this complainant opened his letter to authorities, quote, I come in peace, end quote, and then went on to say, I am a peaceful inhabitor. Uh, and he made a number of allegations implicating a wide range of tertiary institutions. He then even signed the letter in red ink with a red fingerprint uh, next to his name. And Mr Jones asked Mr Smith if he had any concerns about the complainant's mental health. Uh, Mr Smith confirmed that the letter was sensationalised. He said that the writer was, uh, as he put it, having a rant. But Mr Smith said, uh, pointed to the complainant's concerns um, that were actually borne out when the police did a raid of the office and, and the Assignments for You office, and they actually found four assignments that this 
man had been or said he was involved in as a ghostwriter, they were actually on hard drives in the assignments for you office. The case before Justice Wilford set down for four weeks. Thank you very much, Edward. That is our court reporter, Edward Gay.